Hi everybody, this is Bob, and happy Sunday. There's a couple of things we'll have to do today. One, we promised you guys for installation instructions on Charles the right way, and also we have a class in our development group for some website building. So I want to do this quickly. You go to www.charlesproxy.com here, and you can download a free trial. Before you download a free trial, what you want to do is get a Java runtime environment. It's called JRE. It's the acronym. And you have to make sure that you select the right version. 64-bit or Windows 32-bit version. If you're running Windows. And how you find out which one you have, 64 or 32-bit, is you right-click. You go to your Start menu. You right-click on your My Computer. And then you open this window here. It'll tell you, this computer I have, um, I'm running a... Windows Home Premium 64-bit operating system. So we're all set there, right? So after we do that, what we do is we click here for Java Runtime Environment, and then we do a free Java download here. And I agree, and it starts downloading here, as you notice. When it's completed downloading, what you do is you click here, and it's going to run. You install it into its default folder. After you finish installing it, it's going to ask you to install certain toolbars. I don't do that. So what I do is I unselect this checkbox and I select next. So as you notice, it's installing Java Runtime Environment, and it has a Java installing as well. Hold on a second. Many people try to install Java Runtime Environment, and they make a mistake, and they install Java a JDK. You know, it's a Java Development, or, or Java Development Environment, JDE, I'm sorry. And that's for our programmers, so you don't want it. That's a much larger package. So you close this. Once you close that, you can actually go back to uh, Charles now and um, and download Charles. Let's see. So here we are. So we installed the 64-bit run, uh, Java runtime environment, GRE. Now we're going to click and install Charles 64-bit. And here it is right here, it's downloading. I use Google Chrome, but you can also use Internet Explorer, Firefox. You know, you can use Linux systems, but I'm going to teach you this or try to train you on Google Chrome, which is a, an easier browser. So I'm going to run this. The reason why it's easier is because there's certain additional components that you have to install, usually on other um, browsers, the thing on your operating system. And it's installing, and I click finish. And now, since it's finished, I'm going to go to my menu and Carl's icon, and there should not be an error. If you did not install, uh, you'll notice after the installation, it'll ask you if you want to install an add on for Firefox. And you say, Yes, I didn't get any errors, and there's Charles installed. And that's just the installation. So at this point, we're just showing you how to install it, configuring the different breakpoints, throttle settings. SSL if you want. We'll do that later on. Okay, so take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.